Hey Brianne, good evening and Merry Christmas. It is an absolutely beautiful night here on Christmas in Tulsa. Just take a look at Winterfest. We got a ton of people out here skating, taking some carriage rides as well. Come on down uh, here to Winterfest tonight. They say it's a pretty popular night. Now, if staying out in the cold isn't really your thing, but you do want to get out tonight, there are some other opportunities here in Tulsa. To a little surprise, it's a calm, almost silent afternoon across Green Country Wednesday. A few cars whiz by. The parking lots receive the gift of relief on this Christmas morning, but at the Cinemark in South Tulsa, the lot fills and families like the Spaniches head to the movies. It's a family tradition. Usually after we open gifts on Christmas morning, um, we come to a movie. It's the theater's biggest day of the year. A spokesman saying they expect 6,000 customers during its 12 hours of showings on Christmas. On the marquee, your choice of 17 features, including six new releases. For Hadley, dressed like Elsa the Snow Queen, she says today's choice is... Frozen. They hope to get into the 1125 showing. We actually don't have an 1125. Oh. Forced to head to the 1030, which has already begun. There's no worry. Hadley's actually missing out on anything. This is, will be her fifth time to see Frozen, but she got all the garb and uh, dress and necklace, and we're ready to see Frozen for the fifth time. No matter the holiday tradition, the Spanishes say this time of year, even if it involves seeing Frozen for the fifth time, is about one thing. It's just a time to be together and kind of get away from the house and, uh, you know, just celebrate and um, enjoy one another and usually laugh. Usually, we usually come to some comedy or something to, to bring a smile to our face. If you come on down to Winterfest tonight, make sure you bring a coat, scarf, blanket, or gloves. It'll get you half price off your skate rental, but you'll also be donating those goods to some folks here in need in downtown Tulsa. Live in downtown, Max Resnick, 2 News Works for you.